Hey buds, it's Witches7211 with World Edit for Dummies in Minecraft. It is a mod, so it does require single player commands too, so you will have to install that. Now, onto the main tool for World Edit. It's called the Wand Tool, but it's simply a wooden axe. It's used for selecting areas by setting a first position by left clicking and right clicking to set a second position. It fills in on a rectangle kind of diagram, I'll explain that later. And I will go into more depth about that later, but for now, I want to get onto the tools and brushes. They all have to be bound to a non-block item. So for this first tool, the smooth brush tool, I will be binding it to a feather. The command for this is slash slash brush smooth, and then the area of effect you want it to have. I will choose 6. Now to use it, you right click with the item you bound it to. And what it does is it smooths out the terrain so you have a better building canvas. It's also helpful for fi filling in holes and just making everything look a little bit neater. On to the next tool, which is the sphere brush tool. I will be binding it to an arrow. So the command for this is slash slash brush sphere. Then the material you want the sphere to be made out of and then the radius you want it to be. So I chose 5, so the sphere will be 5 blocks long in radius. And there you go, you right click and you have yourself a sphere. <laughs> it's great for decorations and everything, I think it looks pretty cool. The next one is the cylinder brush. This one's a little bit different. I will be binding it to an iron ingot. So slash slash brush cylinder the radius you want it to have, I will choose 5, and then you also, wait, I'm sorry, I forgot the material. <laughs> Let's make it glass, then the diameter, and then the height you want it to have. Oops. And as you can see, there is a maximum to how high you can make it. I'm sorry, that was a mistake on my part, I forgot. So brush, cylinder, glass, then radius of 5, let's make it the height of 5 too. So when you right click with this now, you get yourself a cylinder. And as you can see, the maximum allowed is 6 in heights. So you will have to fly up, find the center of it, and then click again. You could just stack it right up on top of each other. Now, onto the commands you will be using with your wand tool. The wand tool picks, selects an area in a rectangular way. So say you select from here to here, and you fill it in, it will make a rectangle. So you will have to figure out all the selection areas you want to use. The first command is outline. This is the most helpful command in my opinion. So you select your two positions, and you do slash slash outline, and then the material you want to be made out of. Let's make it logs. Now. It looks like a solid rectangle right now, but if you dig into it, it's actually hollowed out. It's very helpful for making large structures and for a little quick home. Next command is replace. So what you will do is you select your area, and say it has multiple materials in it, and you want to get rid of one. So say I have cobblestone here, but I don't want it here, I want it to be wool. So I will do slash slash replace. And I want to replace the cobblestone, so that goes first. Then what you want to turn it into, which would be wool. So, wool. And it replaces all the cobblestone with wool. And leaves all the smooth stone in place. This is great for if you put something down and you finish like the whole structure, but you don't want it to be that material anymore, so you could just change it. Now the next command is walls. It's similar to outline, but instead of creating a ceiling and a floor, it just creates the walls. So slash slash walls and then the material you want it to be. Let's make it logs again. And as you can see there's no roof and it doesn't change the floor. This is great if, for when you want to change materials up a bit and make the ceiling something different. Now this next command is sort of like the outline but you will see it's quite different. So slash slash set material you want it to be. Let's make it logs again. It looks the exact same as the outline, 
except when you dig into it, you see that it's solid. Uh, this is great for when you want to work wall by wall, so instead you could just select a corner here and a corner here and you can make the wall. Now, next up is the stack command. I will go to a different area to show you this one. The stack command helps lets you stack certain structures pretty much consecutively. So let's select our first position here and our second position here. Whoops. Now, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Now, the position you look in will be where the structure will stack in. So slash slash stack and how many times you want to stack it. So let's say six. And it stacks your that whole structure on top of each other till it reaches six amounts. So I it was a uh, three by it was three in length. So if you count this over three times, it will actually be eighteen blocks long. It's great for getting long bridges across and creating little floating islands. I think. Next up is uh, some structure commands. I like to call them. The first one is slash slash sphere. Oh, excuse me there. So what you will want to put God mode on for this one, otherwise it will kill you. So let's do the first one, slash slash sphere, and material you want it to be, and then diameter of it. I will say nine. Now, if I was not in God mode, I would definitely be suffocating right now. So let's jump out of here. And you got yourself a sphere the size that you set it to be. And the material you made it out of. If you did do this floating in the air, it would be a floating sphere and would not look like a dome. The next command is H sphere. This one creates a hollow sphere instead of a, a solid one. So you will not suffocate if you do this one. So you do not need God mode on. I will choose 20 and the radius of 6. As you can see, completely solid. I like using this one and filling it in with other materials because it looks pretty cool. The next command is cylinder. So slash slash CYL and then the material you want it to be. And then the height and radius. For first is radius and then the height. Let's jump out of here because this one does require God mode again. And it's a cylinder. It's pretty good for making columns when you're going for big castles. Now the last one is HCYL or hollow cylinder. So it's the same exact thing as the sphere. It creates a hollow cylinder. So let's make this one glass. Five in radius and seven in height. Creates a hollow cylinder. It's pretty cool. Again, you can fill it with another material or you can make it a little lighthouse. All right, that is all I have for now. This is the very basics. It's just to help you get started with World Edit. It does come in handy when you are a major builder. And I hope you found this helpful. Please leave me feedback on my channel. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.